I mean, I've got everything on and I just keep adding this on top, you know, because it's light enough. So more is more. That's my motto. More is more. So I have lip plumper right here. It's hey. unreal. It's Probably great, like isn't it? My favorite one I've ever tried. My lips don't feel like they're going to burn off. Right. And like I look, I have a Lisa Rinna pout. I'm so happy to hear this. Big fan. But anyway, let's get to it. So lip plumper, when did it come to be? What are your thoughts on it? Why are you obsessed with it? Well, I've always wanted to do a lip plumper and we could have started with the lip plumper, but I really wanted to do the kit with the basics mm -hmm. first. And so this just seemed like the natural progression. And I wanted to do a plumper that didn't burn my lips off and wasn't like a hot tamale all over my lips. And so, you know, we accomplished it. I think, you know, because we use the peptides and the collagen and the hyaluronic acid and it's kind of pepperminty and it, it doesn't make you feel like you have a lip plumper on. Mm -hmm. And I love that. It's all about like, I want it to feel good on your lips. And I think that we were able to do that. It's silky smooth. So how do you see this fitting in with the lip kit? Cause you have the three steps in there. So what's your advice to well, everyone you can, who has your full lineup? You can, I mean, the more, more is more if you ask me. So put it all on, you know, put, I put this on, I mix and match everything. So I put this on top of the regular lip gloss and the lipstick and the lip liner. Or you can wear it alone, or you can wear it just over the lipstick, or you can mix the two glosses together. It's thin enough. I mean, I've got everything on and I just keep adding this on top, you know, because it's light enough. So more is more. That's my motto, more is more. It's a good beauty motto to live by. So now we have to dig into the names because, you know, we have Heidi, we have Darlene, we've got, what do I have here? I have attention seeker and between the wigs and the lipstick what's your creative process well my creative process is just to have fun and to be like kitschy and and have a kiki and be funny and you know so whatever the mood i'm in kind of kind and you know we look at the product and you say you know what does it remind you of and we just throw names around all day long and if you know i get a list of names and then we just go down it and pick one out of the five or whatever it's it's a fun creative process so you are known for your lips that's not news to anybody nope when you are doing your lip makeup your lip liner have you found any tips hacks or tricks throughout the years just oh. experimenting god yeah i mean i work with some of the greatest makeup artists of all time right and i learn more than anything watching rupaul's drag race that is where you learn all the tricks yes i said that watch it, it closely um you know, I have this great makeup artist, um, Steven, who tends to outline my lips and goes out of, like he goes over, and I think it looks fantastic. I love it, and I would never think to do that with such big lips, but he's shown me that you can do it and make it look really fabulous. So I, I say have fun, watch RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag Race, and go for it. More is more. More is more.